For now we have fast food. Things are reasonably normal in my neck of the woods. We haven't had any major disasters and we have the probably where you are also you have the blessings of the almighty drive through. <laughs> Although maybe it's not your first choice for what you want to eat is horribly convenient. Um, there are some fast food places that I don't go to because the food doesn't appeal to me at all. I do like Wendy's. I do like a little Taco Bell now and then. I eat an awful lot of Wendy's chili. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is that for now we have fast food. We um, we have the, the joy, the convenience, the luxury. I think it's an incredible luxury that we have to um, have those foods at our disposal. And what a magical, wonderful thing to be able to pull up to a speaker and say, I want this and this and this and this and this. And then by the time you get your money out and you go around the corner a little bit to the side of the building, they will hand you fresh, hot, wonderful food. I love hot french fries. I like Wendy's fries. I always have liked their fries even before they changed them. And in our locality, they have these little yellow key tabs that are in the shape of a frosty and they'll give you a little tiny frosty that stands about that, that tall. That tall. <laughs> and um, every time you buy the little key tab for a dollar, they donate the dollar to the scouting programs. And then every time you go and make a purchase, they give you a free little baby frosty. And I do like baby frosties. <laughs> so for now, we have fast food. We don't need to feel guilty if we're not canning all of our own food. I have tried to do that in the past. Um, we don't need to feel badly if we're not baking all of our own bread. It's the things that you know how to do that will be the asset to you. Um, if you know how to bake bread, that's good. If you know how to can the food, that's good. If you know how to do the gardening, that's good. Uh, if you know how to, even if you don't have the physical strength to do it all and you have the know-how of how to do it and you have the seeds and you have the jars and you have the supplies in order to make it happen and you have the know-how, then you could put that into practice at any given time. I'm counting on that. <laughs> I have seeds, I have canning jars, but for now we have fast food. For now, if we want something quick and easy, it's still there for us, which is a great great. To me, it's a great joy and a blessing. I don't do lots and lots of fast food. We eat at home most nights and it's mostly, the vast majority of it is, the majority of it is uh, homemade foods, if not homegrown, homemade foods. And I have done my years of the homegrown stuff too as well. So enjoy it. Don't, don't get on your, uh, don't get on your own case. <laughs> don't criticize yourself because you're not currently doing all of these things. It would be nice to have a little bit of experience with it, which is why I keep going back to the Great Depression video five about bread, because if you haven't baked bread and you at least have some flour and you at least try this recipe, which no one can screw up if they even make a concerted, there's, the only way you could really screw it up is to um, subject it to too much heat, which would kill the yeast but it's really hard to mess up any other way. Or if your oven was 500 degrees instead of 350 degrees, you might have a problem. But um, have the supplies and have the skills and enjoy the best of both worlds while we can. And if the time ever should arise that we need to produce our own bread and we have the flour and we have the sugar and we have the salt and we have the yeast uh, and we have the supplies to do the canning and the growing, even the growing, even if it wasn't, I'm crooked again, even if it wasn't for the canning, then you could eat fresh at least part of the year. And winter squash are a great thing to have, at least have seeds for, because if you plant them and you harvest them in September or early October, depending on where you live, um, that they will keep until about January. And that's a great asset to have. So even if you just have summer garden seeds and winter squash seeds, and that's a great asset. Enjoy the fast food. Enjoy your life while you can and don't don't be I kind of live half mentally half of me is in that disaster scenario, you know, where you have to do these things, but I'm so thankful I don't have to do them now. I'm so thankful that food is still cheap enough 
for the most part. And I am thankful for Aldi's and Dollar Tree and Dollar General and the places I can get good prices. So God bless you to prepare, but enjoy the fast food while you have it now. It's a huge blessing. Make a list and check it twice so you can eat more than just beans and just rice. Unless you like beans and rice. Have a great night. Bye.